My sister is down from New York with some boxes of 100-year-old Gerhardt knitting machine parts. We're putting together a working machine. Hopefully, sometime today, we'll start cranking out a sock in exactly the same way as it was done back in the old days. Back in 1888, Joseph Gerhardt invented this machine. Over the next 45 years until the Great Depression, he and his son Emery, who was my grandfather, made many improvements and took out patents for the design. They sold over 250,000 machines worldwide and collected warehouses full of socks from farm wives who wanted extra income. The socks were then sold to Sears, Montgomery Wards, and other department stores. Just think. <laughs> If the Depression hadn't come along, I might actually be living in a mansion in Clearfield, Pennsylvania right now. This is my collection of the demo machines that belong to Joseph and Emery. I've got the very first wooden machine, which was the basis for the first patent in 1888. And I've got the major evolutions of the machines all the way up to the last machine in 1930 built from the remaining factory inventory. I've also got some original photos of the factory and the business paperwork, which was all boxed up for at least 90 years, untouched by human hands. Part of the inventory also includes a large box of old coins from all over the world. Back then, everything was paid for in cash. All right, draw two arm slices of yarn. So I'm cast on stitches being on part, part of yarn near the carrier. Draw two arms lengths of yarn. Okay. Two arms lengths of yarn. Now here's one. And here's two. Okay, we moved outside where there's more light. Let's see if we can get it right. We've got a lot of guesswork here, but with a little thought, let's see what happens next. Close. There's another one that didn't go all the way down. Is it just a missed stitch then? See how the latch is sticking closed? Yeah. It's, it's up. It should fall. But there's nothing oh, to pull it down. Because there's a missed stitch. You are exactly right. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to keep going. We're just going to make. We're just going to ignore it. You'll probably hook the next time. Look at that, man. Look at that. Except for that one stitch. Okay. There's tension on here. Alright. Yeah, I think I can probably fix that stitch too. Just have to, you know. I'm gonna keep going though. I think the longer it gets, the more even the tension will be. I think right, so. Because it's loose here, but it'll probably get tighter once it gets further down. Uh -huh. You want to put more weight on it? I is the I'm... yarn riding up? I think the yarn is riding up. It's riding up a little so bit. So let me do yeah. this. Let me lower this. I think it needs more weight. Good though. This is good. <laughs> this is like close. This is probably like a 19, somewhere between 1919 19 and 1924. 
So I think the longer it gets, the more even it'll get because the weight will. All right, cool beans. So if, it, if we had a bobbin, it'd be even better. Yeah. Yeah, it's working.